Hello all. I uh, thought I'd do a video on uh, installing VirtualBox itself in uh, Arch Linux. Um, I saw some videos of some people having trouble with it and uh, some of the terms seem to be uh, confusing but uh, Arch Linux Wiki is uh, your best friend I guess and uh, it, it tells you everything you need to know. You just have to keep reading. <laughs> but we'll just uh, step through this. So open a terminal. And uh, if you run, if you're not running a custom mod, um, kernel or anything like that, um, it's very straightforward. So I'll do the full command sudo pacman dash capital S and then virtual box. And it's uh, 15 megabytes to download and 75 or so to uh, once it's installed. And it's downloading the VirtualBox host modules, which the wiki mentions to make sure. So it's downloading them and uh, installing once it's finished downloading. It tells you right here too uh, to load the kernel module. It says um, mod probe vbox. DRV or VBox driver. So just do a sudo. I like to do like a mod probe a dash A and then VBox DRV. Zoom in. Okay. And press enter. And that's it. Now to get it to load up at startup, we do a uh, another sudo. You can use any editor. I always use leaf pad, leaf pad and it's dash etsy slash etsy uh, modules load dash load dot d. Then what you want to call the configuration? It's usually virtual box dot c o n f configuration. And obviously this is blank. <laughs> so all I do is uh, just put in v box. As, it, as you just uh, did the mod probe, VBox DRV. That's it. That's all you have to do to load that module at startup. Uh, save, Control S, and Control Q to quit. All right. And one more thing we have to do is add ourselves to the uh, uh, VirtualBox. Uh, module itself the, the guess so it's um, sudo g pass p a s s w d then a dollar sign or a string user so that'll be global or it'll pick up your username dash a apologies my mistake it's uh sudo uh, g password dash a uh, string user and then uh, VBox users. And you see it added my username to the VBox user group. And that should be it. We'll just type VirtualBox. And there it is. We have VirtualBox installed. And you can import or export an appliance if you have one. Uh, preferences. Um, you can change this like I'm on a solid state drive the main system I can change this to other and I have like a data drive and VBox I say open because uh, that's a much larger even though it won't be as uh, quick as uh, running it off a solid state disk but uh, if you don't have the room or whatever as it expands you're gonna run out of hard drive space so uh, that, that's it for this one and uh, thanks so much for watching and we'll talk to you soon Bye for now.